Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good week so far. It is Tuesday morning. It is pouring outside, so if you hear thunder or lightning, anything like that, that's just the wonderful random showers we get in Florida. It could last five minutes. It could last two days. It could last five weeks. You never know in Florida. But anyways, our challenge for pouring in harmony this week is a uh, geo. Today, I am going to do just a basic geode with just paint, glitter, and silicone. That's it. My paints are mixed with Floetrol, water to consistency. Um, I spray painted my background black. I am going to use some black in it. So I've got a little bit of black mixed up, not too much, but it's just black metallic. Just checking the consistency of it, okay. So I have an assortment of purples and it's not wanting to focus, it looks like, okay. So I have an assortment of purples, dioxidine, um, like a dark purple mob that I mixed up with a bunch of old purples, bottom of the bottle kind of thing. And then amethyst. I have got an iridescent antique gold. I've got parchment. I've got a, a light blue. It's almost like an ice blue. And then a blue capri. That's Waverly. Um, and then I've got an extreme glitter by Folk Art Gold. And I added extra glitter in that. And then I've just got some purple metallic and just basic purple by Craft Smart. So, and then my tools, I've got a skewer, I've got plastic knife, and a tube to blow. So, I have not done a geode in probably a year and a half, two years. So we shall see. I do have a bigger geode plan for later in the week. I just need to cut my MDF board for the shape that I want. So we should see how that one goes. Okay, I do have the two-in-one silicone. So that's the silicone I'm going to be using. And we are gonna start, I'm gonna put black down in the corner. Just wanna show everybody that a geode can be simple. It doesn't have to like be crazy. You don't have to buy special supplies. Everybody has paint and glitter. Especially if you're a mom, you have paint and glitter in your house. I should say mom and little girls. <laughs> the glitter, not all boys. But. So, I'm just gonna add that to the corner. I am going to start with the parchment. I'm just putting a little bit. I'm gonna do a couple drops of silicone. And then I am going to do the antique gold. And then a drop of the gold glitter. A couple drops maybe. Okay. And then I am just gonna swirl those around. So I'm just swirling them so they mix up a little bit. And I've already and then I am going to just pour it. It is getting heavy rain out there. Okay. So, just let that set for a minute, and then we're going to do the same thing, only with purple this time. Let me get a little cup for that. We're going to do 
Then we're going to do the amethyst. And some of the parchment. A drop of silicone. And do a little bit of the interesting mauve color. Okay. And then again, I'm just going to swirl that. I put too much of the parchment, but that's okay. I'll go back and do a line of the darker purple, I think. bit while it's on here. Okay. Grab my paper towel and wipe it off. Um, I'm going to use my knife and I am just going to add a line of the purple. Dioxidine, violet, okay, and then wipe that off with my paper towel again, set that aside, and I'm just going to move it a little bit, just tilt a little bit. Get some of that extra paint off. Okay. Now I'm going to do darker purple with some of the gold glitter. of the iridescent antique gold and then some of the amethyst I want this line to be kind of big so and then a little bit of the silicone and then swirl it up sorry I moved it out of frame and I'm gonna swirl that up again and then line of that down going to do some of the blue. We're going to do some of the dark blue. With some of the antique gold. Some of the purple. metallic purple with it and then a drop of the parchment and a drop of the light blue I don't know how this one will look I just want to give it a little bit more color than just purple so I'm gonna swirl that up
I'm just going to tilt it back some and then over. Just want to get some of that extra paint off. Back. After I get all the different colors laid down, I will go in and put some lines between some of the different colors like I did with the purple. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go in and do some more of the purple with the cream, I think. to this cup because it's still got quite a bit of the cream and gold in it and we'll add some of the some of this purple Just gonna again just tilt it this way to get some of that extra paint off. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put black up along the edges. And then we will go in and do some of our lines after we tilt the extra off. Let me get some of these paints out of the way. I am leaving the dioxidine purple out and the antique gold. The rest I'm putting them away. Oh, and then the gold glitter paint. And the rest we're gonna get rid of. So. Let me put that back in frame for you. wipe my hands off a little bit and then I'm gonna move that over on that side. Let's see if we can get you a better view. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and put black. Okay, and then I'm just gonna tilt it, and get all that extra paint off, give it some more 
jagged lines. Okay. Now, what I am going to do is go in and put some more defined lines down. Um, gonna use my knife for that, I think. So I definitely want some more here. So if you guys have not checked out our Facebook page, there will be a link below. Everybody is welcome to come and join us on challenges or just sharing your artwork on the page with us. We're all about supporting other channels and other artists and encouraging everyone. Um, and I'm here to answer any questions. So if you have anything you want to know, if you have any suggestions, things you want to see or color combos you want to see, let me know. I love taking requests from people. Hmm. Let me see. I think we'll add some of the gold up here. Let me wipe that knife off. My paper towel's already saturated. <laughs> Let me get another one. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna add some up here. We are gonna go in and put glitter in it still. I will be blowing these lines out a little bit too, so. They look sloppy right now. They won't, hopefully, when we get done. Okay. Let me get that out of the way. Hopefully you can still see everything. Okay, so before we get to the next part, um, I'm gonna go ahead and torch it. something here because that's an awful lot of white maybe I should just pull it down some 
and then pull it back. Oh, it didn't really do much. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It still looks fine. I just think it's a whole lot of the white. Maybe if I just put a strip of the lighter purple, it wouldn't bother me so bad. So I'm going to do that. Let me get another little cup. So we're doing the amethyst, some silicone, and some of the extreme gold. Just to one little strip in there. The extreme gold didn't really show up much, but we can just put a strip of it over it. just blow that around. So let me grab. I've got my tubing. I think I'm going to grab a straw. That's good. So let me close up this purple. Okay. Okay, so we are gonna move on to the glitter. So what I have is this fake snow that you get during Christmas time because it's really shimmery. I have this mix of chunky purple and this black, it's got black and purple and 
really pretty. And then a chunky black. So let me take these gloves off. Try to get that in focus. Ah! Spill some glitter. Then I guess we'll start with that. I um, think what I'm going to do is take some of that around the top edge. Hopefully you can see well enough. I think we're good with that. Maybe a little more up here. Okay. And then I am going to take some of the purple. I want to get some of these big chunks out of this area. Okay. Take some of the purple and I'm just going to put it in here. Not much, just a little. Okay, and then I want to take some of the chunky black and put up here in the negative space. Okay. I think that's 
good. I think I want some more purple along here. Just in this little purple and white spot. Okay, and then we're going to take some of the multi-black and we're going to put it down in this corner. Again, I do want some of it up in here too. Just a little bit. Okay. And maybe right in here. Last thing, I just want to blow this down a little bit. I think I want to grab some gold glitter and put it right there. Add some more black down here. Okay, I'm going to grab the gold. Okay, now that I'm covered in glitter, <laughs> I think we're good. I laid that right in paint and then put it in my mouth. Good job. Good job.
Okay. So we are gonna call that done. I have a huge mess here to clean up. I am gonna take some pictures, post them in the end of this video, and please let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Okay, I just wanted to give you a close up. So here's the overview. This is the bottom right corner. Span over to the left corner. Up to the top left. right it does look a mess right now but once it's dry and it's got a resin coat it should look pretty cool it's not my jet best geo but like I said I just wanted to show that it is possible to do with just paint and glitter so I hope everybody has a wonderful day thanks so much for watching and I appreciate any comments please hit that thumbs up if you're new please subscribe to my channel Thank you so much, everybody. Take care.